Hey, this is Coach Ryan. In today's video, we're going to work on some advanced ball handling and finish up with a really tough advanced ball handling challenge. But before we do that, we've got seven different two ball drills that we're going to go through. In each of the two ball drills, it follows the same pattern. We dribble, then we wrap. Notice in the drill, I dribble with my left hand, followed by a wrap around my waist with my right hand. That pattern follows in each of the seven drills that we'll learn today. We dribble, we wrap, and we exchange hands. The basketballs change hands uh, with each dribble, and it's dribble, wrap, exchange. You follow that pattern, you can complete each of the seven drills today. If this is your first time attempting some of these advanced ball handling drills, then I would encourage you to spend maybe a minute a day on each of the seven drills until you master them. Uh, you definitely want to master these drills before attempting our advanced ball handling challenge. Coaches and players have been doing single ball wraps for years. You can think back to the days of Pistol Pete Maravich and his homework basketball drills. He would go around his waist, his legs, his head. He was extremely fast with it. I think he could go like 70 times around his waist in 30 seconds, which is just ridiculously fast. But if you're that type of player and you've mastered those drills, then it's time to take it to the next level. And the best way to do that is with dribble wraps. And you'll see a direct correlation with your ball quickness and the triple threat. So think about your jab steps, your sweeps. Uh, you'll see a correlation with your ball quickness on pickups, on finishing moves. Think Kyrie Irving as he picks up the ball low or sweeps it high past the defender. Um, so two ball wraps have a correlation to ball quickness, finishing moves. So a lot of times, anytime I'm working on those moves, these are the type of warm-up drills that I'll use to kind of stretch a player's uh, ability to manipulate the ball and their quickness and just to get them outside their comfort zone and build confidence and control with the basketball. If you're a younger player and you're watching this video, you can still do all of these drills, but you can do it with the level one uh, progression, which is all seven drills, but with one basketball instead of two. We've now learned all seven drills. It's time to put it in our advanced ball handling challenge. In our challenge, you must complete one to two reps of each of the seven drills back to back to back without making a mistake. If you can do that, you've completed one lap in our advanced ball handling challenge. To beat the challenge, you must complete four consecutive laps without making a mistake. Again, to review, in our advanced ball handling challenge, you've got to go through each of the seven drills that we just learned and complete one or two reps back to back. If you can do that, you've completed one lap in our advanced ball handling challenge. To beat the challenge, you've got to complete four consecutive laps without making a mistake. Again, a lot of these drills are really nothing new. It's just a level up on a lot of great one ball drills. We should be moving forward each day and our goal should be constant and continuous improvement. Good luck in the challenge. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, I release new basketball videos every week, so make sure you subscribe today.